Hello and welcome to Central Europe Online. I'm Marguerite Howell and here are some of the stories we're following for Tuesday, September 15th. Albania's government says it has crushed an attempted coup. The European Parliament criticizes shortcomings in the Bosnian election process. And Hungary signs an agreement with the U.S. to fight violent crime. Albania's government on Monday claimed to have crushed what it called an attempted coup d'etat by supporters of the country's main opposition party. Interior Minister Pir Ikli Teta said on national television that police were in control of the nation's capital Tirana, where thousands of opposition supporters took to the streets and attacked government offices. Perikli said special forces were in control of the state-run television and radio station, which armed opposition supporters seized on Monday. Rioting swept through Tirana on Sunday and Monday, following the assassination of an opposition Democratic Party politician. The opposition blamed Socialist Prime Minister Fatos Nano for the murder and has called for his removal from office. Nano, whose whereabouts are currently unknown, is expected to comment on the unrest on Tuesday at his Socialist Party headquarters. A delegation of the European Parliament criticized the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe for the way it organized Bosnia's general election. The delegation pointed to problems with voter registration and called on the OSCE to prevent such problems from occurring in the future. Computer problems delayed or prevented thousands of Bosnians from voting on Saturday. Tana de Zulueta, Vice President of the OSCE Parliamentary Assembly, said the mistakes should have been discovered in time to prevent disruption to the electoral process, but praised the campaign as generally well conducted. The delegation also said the number of voters in absentee polling stations was far too high compared to regular polling stations, which it says strained voters' patience. Preliminary results of the vote are expected late on Tuesday, but a final count isn't expected until sometime next week. Representatives of Hungary and the United States agreed on Monday to create a joint organized task force to fight violent crime. According to the agreement, FBI experts and other U.S. law enforcement agencies will assist the Hungarian National Police in prosecuting and bringing to trial organized crime groups. The U.S. Ambassador to Hungary, Peter Tufo, said the U.S. would provide funding for the new task force, which would start at several hundred thousand dollars, but eventually would amount to a multi-million dollar commitment. Hungary has been plagued by a rise in violent crime, marked most recently by a car bomb attack in July near a popular tourist area in Budapest. Officials say the agreement is the first of its kind in Europe and hope it will serve as a model for other countries. And that's some of what we're following at Central Europe Online. For the European Internet Network, I'm Marguerite Howell.